It is January 15th, 2019. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Steen Mobile Tech YouTube channel. What I wanted to do is give you guys an update, a couple things going on with T-Mobile and then something from Verizon. Uh, to get things started first, I want to start with T-Mobile. Uh, the big news is uh, Netflix has confirmed that it is going to be raising prices on all of its streaming services plans. I believe there are currently three plans that are involved here. Uh, the first plan, the base plan, which starts at 8 bucks, is now going to increase to $9. The $11 plan currently is going to get bumped to $13, and the $14 plan gets a bump to $16. So overall, about a 13 to 18% price increase amongst all the plans and in terms of when this is effective from what i understand it is immediately so for new customers to the service they will be uh, receiving the newest uh, price bumped uh, charges and of course for those that are currently or previously have been customers of netflix been subscribed uh, these price increases will be rolling out over the next 90 days so over the next three months you may see your price increase now in terms of why this matters to our particular channel is the T-Mobile implication. T-Mobile has offered the Netflix on Us initiative or feature circa 2017. Uh, obviously a feature that a lot of people enjoy and have been taking advantage of, uh, being that they are paying for the Netflix subscription free of charge on you. So we did get word from John Ledger, this uh, you know representation, the CEO over there, uh, of T-Mobile and he has said that you know being quoted nothing is going to change for now so currently if you have the subscription service uh, they're going to continue to cover you there so but they will be working with Netflix on a solution to the situation in the future which means that potentially in the future they may eventually you know change the way that they're approaching the Netflix on us uh, plan or feature so Keep in mind, you also need to understand, you know, you got to be on the Timo Wadden plan. You got to have two lines of service. There's requirements to be qualified for this, but it has been a great service to have. So my question is, is will T-Mobile be able to keep the Netflix on us initiative going? Will they be able to continue to provide that feature even with the cost increasing? Um, you know, are they going to raise it 90 days from now? Will we see price increasing or will they abandon the initiative in April or May? We'll just have to wait and see. So as a whole, Netflix has become very successful. They have 58 million subs. You know, they've been up and running for 12 years. This price bump, I think, is the first since October of 2017, where they bumped the, the cost of the two higher tiers. So we'll just have to wait and see what they do there. Uh, the next thing from T-Mobile is T-Mobile has officially rolled out its 5G um, network to 30 markets in the U.S. Now, this is a very nice job. Very good to see that T-Mobile is is doing their part trying to advance the network towards 5G. I believe some of the, the cities that they mentioned was New York City, Las Vegas, Nevada, Los Angeles, California, and Dallas, Texas. Texas. So, and all this is great, and I don't mean to, to rain on T-Mobile's parade, but they have a huge problem, and that's that they don't have any devices to push the network. So, in fact, I think the 600 megahertz spectrum, the last I checked, which they're going to be using for their 5G, is not compatible with any current uh, Qualcomm manufactured 5G chips. So the Snapdragon 855, which is going to be found in pretty much most, if not all, of the 2019 5G smartphones, uh, it's not compatible with the 5G that T-Mobile is going to be uh, using the 600 megahertz spectrum. So they're pretty much going to be waiting for Qualcomm to make them a unique uh, Qualcomm made chipset that is compatible with their spectrum and then be able to get that rolled out probably by the end of the year. I just, you know, I can't see it making its way to any markets, you know, prior to quarter three or quarter four. So as of right now, you know, it's nice that T-Mobile has the 5G. But again, no devices to push it, which again, you know, we have AT&T with their problems rolling out fake 5G, 5GE, whatever's going on there. Uh, Sprint is working on, I think they're going to have a Samsung uh, flagship device that's going to be 5G capable to push their 2.5 gigahertz. We're expecting that in the middle of the year. I think May was the, the launch for that device. And of course, the Samsung Galaxy S10, for those of you subscribed or supporting me on Patreon, you're aware that the Samsung Galaxy S10, there is going to be a 5G variant, but it's going to be exclusive to Verizon. So limited to only that carrier. Moving on, the last little thing here, little tidbit. Uh, we have uh, news from Verizon that if you have the Verizon Beyond or Above Unlimited plans, you can now receive a true subscription to the Apple Music uh, streaming service, music streaming. Um, this, you know, unfortunately excludes the Go Unlimited 
plan. So out of the three unlimited plans that Verizon offers, the bottom tier one, the cheapest one, will not include this service. Now this is a little bit different than what Verizon has been doing. Previously, they were giving out six month free trials. And of course, those would expire, and then you'd have to pay the full price. Uh, so Verizon wasn't covering the bill. Currently, I believe with this particular deal, if you have the Verizon above or the Verizon Beyond Unlimited, it will be good for a true subscription to the service. I believe as of Thursday, January 17th, if you are a customer on either of those two plans, and I think they're also including Grandfather Unlimited plans, uh, you can get the service for free covered by Verizon. So, you know, what we're seeing here and some added value to Verizon. They're trying to give their customers more. I'm not sure if it's gonna be necessarily effective, but uh, it's a much better option than the six month free trial that they had previously. And um, from what I understand, I don't have the details on it. Uh, Sprint is gonna be offering a new rewards plan. I think I'll do a video just on that, or maybe I'll just put a post to it. Uh, Sprint is gonna be offering basically like a rewards program, very similar to what Verizon has been doing. Um, probably not exactly as good as what T-Mobile has done with the giveaways, uh, but I'll, I'll post something at least. If not, I'll make a dedicated video for it so you guys know what they're offering and what's going on there. So give me your thoughts and opinions on anything going on with T-Mobile, the Netflix price bump and what they might be facing in the future and uh, obviously the news from the 5g network that they're rolling out without any devices uh, that are going to be able to push it and then uh, verizon here with the free apple music subscription service let me know your thoughts and opinions on any of these in the comments section below so thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video much appreciated please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already this is sneed from sneed mobile tech and i will see you guys on the next one peace